Welcome to Stage 1 Physics, um, Mr Bennett here and what we're going to be looking at is a whole range of topics throughout the year. Uh, as you can see the picture that's come to the screen is we've got a lot of key physics words there um, and that's sort of a bit of an idea of the sort of topics that we'll cover throughout the year. When it comes to looking at semester one, I've just put up the topics that we're doing here. So we've got the movement, we've got forces, we've got motion, energy and waves. And what we're looking at there is trying to make it sort of application based as much as we can. So that should be quite interesting, I hope, for you guys and uh, be, be really good. In terms of when we're looking at what physics is, well physics there are five key topics. So we're looking at motion, one and two D kinetic, kin kinematics. Uh, electric and magnetic fields, we've got waves and light, optics and sound, uh, atomic physics and then we're looking at the nuclear physics with fission and fusion. So what would you be certainly expected to do this semester or all year? What we would be expecting you to do is to uh, try your best and certainly engage in the practical, nation, practical nature of the course. Uh, that would be certainly important that you do that. Um, in terms of becoming a powerful learner, the sort of things that will be expected is you use a range of instruments. Uh, we certainly want you to become a powerful learner, so we want you to push yourself. We know that you're going to be using technology as we go through. Uh, we need you to be able to collaborate and talk to your, your peers, and we certainly know you're going to be frustrated at times. Now, we're going to be using a flipped classroom, so obviously that means is that what we would do in class, we will now do at home, and what we would do at home, we now do in class. So that certainly uh, should be a really hopeful, hopefully a really helpful thing for you to do. So when we start looking at being a powerful learner, uh, the three ones at the bottom there, the remembering, understanding, applying, are concepts that are fairly low level skills. What we want to do is see that you're using the analysing, evaluating, creating, and they are the higher level skills. All right, so that's what we'll be working at looking at. Um, what would we expect for you as a student? We certainly expect you to keep up with the work, try your hardest, make sure you ask questions, we want you to work with your, with your peers and work collaboratively, and at times you need you to be independent and certainly... Created using Powtoon.